How's it going? Adam Drake here, and today I'm going to talk about tuning and the different characteristics when changing the reducer or the Venturi size of your engine. So OS makes a full range of Venturis, I believe ranging from, I think, as low as maybe 5 millimeter for like nitro touring, all the way up to 9 millimeter for nitro 8 scale on road. Typically in 8 scale, Nitro off-road, we range in the six millimeter to eight millimeter range. Usually for buggy, um, six to 6.5, maybe sometimes a seven, um, you would be in that range. And then for nitro truck, from 6.5 to eight millimeters. Now, something to consider when, when changing the Venturi is you also should readjust your endpoints to make sure that the carburetor is opening so when the slide opens it's fully opening to the Venturi size. You always want to make sure that the slide doesn't open past the Venturi size so it should always be the full size of the Venturi or uh, not quite fully open. I prefer to always open the slide to the full length of the Venturi if you're kind of tuning on the fly, you have a little bit too much power or uh, the engine's a little bit lean, you can reduce the EPA a little bit to kind of help with that. But normally I always try to open the slide to the full length um, or the full size opening of the Venturi. Um, with the Venturi size, um, kind of the general rule of thumb is bigger Venturi, more power. You're getting more air, so you're gonna get more overall power. But with the bigger Venturi size, you lose a little bit of kind of the initial feel or response. So typically a smaller Venturi is actually gonna be a little bit more responsive, uh, a little bit more crisp feeling, but then as you open the throttle, it's gonna have a little bit less overall power. Also with a smaller Venturi, your tuning window gets a little bit narrower. So you don't have as much air. If the weather changes um, or your filter gets dirty, the change in tune is gonna be a little bit more uh, drastic with a smaller Venturi. So bigger Venturi, a little bit smoother on bottom, a little bit less kind of feeling or uh, precision or crisp feeling on bottom, but larger tuning window, more mid-range to top end power. Um, when you're racing on a lower grip track and you, you need to reduce the overall amount of power, I like to run a little bit smaller Venturi. Some people may go to a larger because then you, you uh, get rid of a little bit of that initial snap. Um, it just depends on the characteristics you're looking for, but it's a really nice tuning option from track to track um, once you're, you're confident and comfortable with what those changes do. Um, but just wanted to share some information because I think sometimes uh, guys will go to a larger Venturi because they're looking for more uh, overall power and a larger 8 mil Venturi gives them that speed that they want on the straightaway but they then lose that feeling on bottom um, and that's kind of what you should be feeling. So more precise, more crisp, smaller Venturi, more overall top speed and power and uh, broader tuning window, you would wanna use a bigger Venturi.